Hello, I am Petru from Boolean Technology. Today I would like to show you how you can configure a DHCP server on a Cisco router. Make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website boolean.uk. Let's get started. I will start by checking the current running config. For this, I will run the command show running config and I will add the filter in order to see only the configuration related to DACP. As you can see, there is no DACP configuration on this router. In order to configure any Cisco device, you need to go to global config. For this, run the command configure terminal. If you want to have some IP addresses to exclude them from the DCP pool in order to statically assign to a server or a switch or maybe a router, you need to run the config the command IP DCP excluded addresses and define the range of addresses that will be excluded from the DCP pool. I will start with the IP address 192.168.100.1 and I will end this range with the IP address 192.168.100.100 By adding this command I will exclude the first 100 IP addresses from the network I will define the network that will be used for my DCP clients in the DCP pool command. Next, after excluding the IP addresses, we need to define the DCP pool. For this, run the command IP DCP pool and give the pool a name. In my case, I'll use the name DCP router, for example. Now we are in the DCP, DCP config mode. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, options to configure here. I will add the following options. I will start by identifying the network which I will use for this pool. I will run the command network and I will add the network 192.168.100. 0 and I will add the subnet mask for my network which is 255.255.255.0 After I configured the network I need to specify the default router which will be used by the DCP clients For this run the command router default router and specify the IP address of your default router. In my case, the default router you, uh, you will, will be the router with the IP address 192.168.100.1. If you want to also assign to your clients a DNS server, you can do it with the command DNS server and specify the IP address of your DNS server. In my lab, the DNS server and the default router will have the same IP address, 192.168.100.1. If in your environment you are using a domain name and you want that your clients use this domain name, you can specify the domain name with the command domain name and run add the domain name. In my case, I will add the domain boolean. UK. After specifying the domain name, the default router and the subnet, you can specify for how long the clients will use the allocated IP addresses. By default, Cisco devices uh, allocate one day for the list time. If you want to change the default list time, run the command list and specify how many days you want to to have. In my case, I will add the list 7. The IP, the IP addresses will be 
list for seven days. After, fin after I finished the DCP config, I will check to see if all the commands, all the options are in place. As you can see here, I defined which IP addresses should be excluded from the pool. I specified a pool from where the IP addresses will be allocated to my clients, to my DCP clients. And here are the options allocated with this pool. I specified the subnet with the network command. I specified the default router. I specified the DNS server. I specified the domain name and I changed the default list time from one day to seven days. If you are okay with your config, don't forget to save it to the startup config. Now we need to check if the DHCP server is working as expected. I will use a Cisco switch as a DHCP client. Right now the interface Fast Ethernet 024 is connected to the, my router. As you can see from the output, the interface is configured with the command IP address DHCP. This command, this command, with this command, we enable the DHCP client on the interface. I disabled the switch ching for the, this interface with the no switch port command and I specified an IP address using the command IP address DHCP. Now let's check if the IP address was already assigned to my interface. For this I will run the command show IP interface brief fast Ethernet 0 slash 24. As you can see from the output, my switch has an IP address which was assigned for, from, the, from the configured DCP pool. My switch received the IP address 192.168.100.104. As you can see, the method was DCP. I didn't configure this IP address manually, but the IP address was allocated through DCP. If you want to check the to check more details about your DHCP server, you can run the commands show DHCP server. As you can see right now, we are looking for any DHCP server. We send free request, free acts. From the output, you can see that the DNS server is 192.168.100.1. The subnet has an IP address of 255.255.255.0 and the DNS domain is boolean.uk. If you want to find out more details about the IP address which was allocated to this switch, you can run the command show DACP list. Here we have the temporary IP address which was allocated to this interface. As you can see, the IP address allocated is 192.168.100.104. This IP address was allocated to the interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 24. And this interface has a subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The DHCP server is 192.168.100.1 and the state is bound. Here we have the lease time, the renewal and the client ID. And also we have from the output the hostname of our switch. On the router you can run the following commands in order to find which or to find how many clients are using the DHCP server. For this run the, the command show IP DHCP binding. 
let me shut down the interface in order to to have some details in on the router I will shut down the interface with the command shutdown and I will enable the interface back with the command no shutdown I will check if the IP address was allocated with the show IP interface brief okay here we have the interface fast internet 024 and the IP address and the method used was DCP I will go back to my router I will repeat the command show IP DCP binding oops I lost my connection to the router let me check from here ssh-l petro 192.168.100.1 show ip dcp binding as you can see from this output at the moment there is only one client as uh, using the DCP server. The IP address allocated is 192.168.100.101. The client ID is here. We have here the when the lease is expiring. It is it will expire on to uh, April 2, and we have the type of the lease, which is automatic. If you want to find the statistics for your DHCP server, run the command show IP DHCP server statistics. And here you have all the statistics related to your DHCP server. You can see how many memory, how much memory is used. You can see how many packets were uh, sent, received. and show IP DCP binding command is showing the um, IP addresses which are allocated to your clients this is all that I wanted to share you to share with you thank you for joining and goodbye